We're gonna make the chick first, cause it's easy. It's so cute. Okay. There's his little self. Let's start with about a three or four inch piece of core wool. And I'm using um, a chick yellow, yellow for sure. And I'm splitting it into quarters. And I'm talking to my dogs. <laughs> Doggies. It's all part of the okay, magic. We think, we think the dogs are dying. So the first thing I'm going to do is go up to the beak and back. Oh, jeez, Milo. Milo's getting ready to throw down. <laughs> Those fighting words. When I get to the head, I can do a little bit of a figure eight here. So I've made a little candy cane hook. This is just like we do in the, um, in the larger chicks because that builds up a little round head a little bit. Except it's a floppier wire and It's a floppier annoying. wire, totally annoying. Thin amount of wool. Now I'm just gonna go around the whole thing, I'm drafting this out so that I have good control over it. And now I can go down the neck. I've got air supply stuck in my head. Yeah, it's a great big pain, pain in the neck. You guys, if anybody's even still with us after wrapping the feet, <laughs> you are it'll home a, free. It'll be a miracle. Let me just stab this from the front. Make sure it stays in place. There's a lot of chick sayings. A lot of our language comes from chicken-related things. Hold on, hold your thought. I know you're teaching. I'm going to put... One of these in half, one of these, I don't like the way I did that. There we go. And then I'm going to go down each leg and back up. So I'm just going down, not quite to the hock. I feel like these are like super duper floppy. And back up. <laughs> it's as if... This poor chick has no bones. It's just like... <laughs> and I'll do the other side. Okay, go ahead. You can sell your... Well, I was just saying a lot of our language comes from chicken... Lingo? Yeah, just chickeny stuff. There's a lot of sayings. Yeah. Give me one. Hit me, hit me with one. Well, I'm going to ask you <laughs> like, what oh. a phrase means. Okay. What does it mean to fly the coop? It means to move out of your parents' home. Uh, what does it mean to walk on eggshells? It means that you live with a... Shake a tail feather. These are good. There's so many things. Shake a tail feather? Yeah, strut, strut your stuff. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go back to shake a tail feather. Does that mean like get out of there or does it mean um, you're dancing? <laughs> it means like get moving. Let's get go. Get moving. That's right. Okay, get going. Yeah. Strut your stuff. Well, this just flaps my waddles. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk about my waddles. <laughs> You can say that when something annoys you. All right, we need a butt. How did I do the butt? Oh, Lord. Let's, let's, let's hope I need it. A note. All right, I'm going to get another three-inch piece and quarter it. Yeah. 
edit out butt part. <laughs> so again, I have uh, four approximately three inch pieces. And then I want to do a crisscross wrap to give some some width between the legs here. So I'm just crisscrossing, making an X between the legs. Give it a little, little pants. All right, now I'm gonna make a butt, a little chick butt. <laughs> and that's another one of our quarters. And it's gonna be a double decker taco. So I start at about a third of the way down and fold that down. And then I'm gonna stab about a half an inch and fold that up, stab that. So I've got some fringe and a finished edge here. Now I just wanna shape that into a little bit of a, a point. You got more um I'm fascinated fascinated by your Yes. So if someone chickens out. Yep. Uh if someone is chicken hearted. Well, I'm not very familiar with that one. Well just, chicken, yeah. yeah. If you're chicken. Uh hatching an idea. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. Put up a squawk. Find yep. your pecking order. Yep, pecking order. You know, there's lots of, um, there's tons of uh, riding and horse ones, too. Oh, okay. Maybe there's just lots of farm animal ones in general. Okay, now we're going to wrap um, a little bit around the butt and sort of figure eight this butt piece and the bottom of the neck to fill in here and down here a little bit. I think I want a longer piece for that. So I'm gonna pull um, a four inch piece and quarter it. Those shorter pieces just aren't quite long enough to do this wrapping. So I'm gonna go around the chest and then around over the back and around the butt. Over the back, around the chest, over the back and around the butt. Okay, then they get a couple of pillows. Um, they get a little chest pillow. So we're gonna take a half of one of our three inch pieces and just fold a soft pillow like this and put that to make a nice little chest. Kind of stabbing it down from the top and tacking it on at the bottom so that it has a nice, um, so it sticks out a little bit. And then they need, um, they have this dumpy butt. <laughs> they have a little, a little chick dumpy butt. So we're gonna fold the other one into a soft pillow and put it, mm, do I want it this way? Yeah, I guess the same thing. So going from the tail to just between the legs, same idea, making it um, kind of poof out a little bit. So they have that little diaper look. <laughs> and then, oh my gosh, what did I do? Did I make teeny tiny? Okay. So it needs teeny tiny cheeks <coughs> and teeny tiny head poof and teeny tiny, <laughs> teeny tiny wings. So for the little cheeks, let's take um, another one of our um, quarters, a little three inch quarter, and I'm going to split it in half. And then I'm gonna split one of those in half this you way. You do not need a lot of fiber. No, so I end up with, you know, basically if it's really stretched out, a two inch, very thin two inch section. Um, and I think, let me think. 
I think just folding this into a soft pillow is probably the best idea. That way you can manipulate it in place because it's soft. If you wrap it around a um, toothpick, it's gonna be too hard. So just think about like making this little poofy, I'm sorry, my head's gonna be in the way for a second because I gotta see what I'm doing here. I wanna get a little pillow on each side of the head. So there's one. It just makes their head quite a bit bigger, which they need because. Mm -hmm. They're big poofy heads. Yeah. This one's gonna be harder for me. While you're doing this, you should have a chick image or two up. Uh-huh, chick images are good. Be careful and don't Google chick pics. <laughs> Then we need a little triangle that comes out under here, and then we need um, a nice big round piece for on top. So a little triangle, just taking another little section of the wool I had set aside there. that again because I didn't explain very well. If you get a one inch, something not bigger than an inch but real consistent, lay it with the fibers going side to side, stab the middle, sometimes you can even stab the little triangle shape, but this is like basically the size of your pinky or smaller even. And then we want that to go under these cheek poofs, point meeting the beak. Careful not to lose your beak entirely. Okay, and then the piece that's gonna go on top of the head is gonna be similar, um, a little bit more fiber, and instead of making the triangle really pointy, we want it to be, um, have about a half an inch of distance at the at this side. So that's a um trapezoid rhombus. <laughs> we we've talked about this before. We should know <laughs> our shapes. Every time. every time. Okay. And then this goes on the head with that coming down to the beak and this coming back over the back of the head and I really have to lean in because this is really fussy so I'm sorry but I'm going to start by tacking the top down on top of the beak and then letting the fringe come back and the little eyes go right where that forehead piece meets the cheek pieces Convenient. I don't know. Some clever person figured this out for you. Did you hear about the chicken farmer that died under mysterious circumstances? I didn't. What happened? Well, they're not sure, but the police suspect foul play. <laughs> chicken Run was a great movie. I never saw that one. I have to go see that again. Find it and see. You never saw Chicken Run? Nope. Oh, it's great. The hens. Oh my gosh. Their little personalities. Okay, last pieces are the wings. And we need two triangles. Like kind of like what we did for the um under the under the um beak, but they need to be a little bit bigger. So we want a nice consistent square inch. And you're just going to make, if you wanted to like stick a little bit of a different fiber on here for a little contrast, you could. But these are so stinking small, I don't go too crazy with it. So 
I stab the triangle shape and then I let the fibers flop over to reinforce the shape and the width of it. And then the little tip gets sticky outy and the fuzz helps um, fill in this, make them a little, a little rounder. So you just have that little wing kind of sticking off right over the leg. <laughs> oh my gosh, working small is, this is probably the smallest scale thing we've done in a tutorial, you know? Oh yeah, it's little. The hummingbird was small, but... The hummingbird's small, but this is even smaller. Yeah. And it's just funny because it's, it's hard. Like you spend all this time, it takes as much time as something larger. Okay, now I can kind of um, get rid of seams smooth things out a little bit. So I'll probably go this way to get rid of the chest seams just with a nice thin piece of top coat or of core, but. Is this core acting as top? Yeah, yeah, this is the it. The whole part. Not nice. Yep. Yeah, no reason very to. Very simple materials. Yep. Oh yes, very simple. And well, then I'll do the same. The legs. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll do the same thing over the butt here to get rid of those seams. Simple materials, not simple I know, I know. project. Here's something interesting. Okay, good. The difference between involvement, this is just a chicken quote. The difference between involvement and commitment is like an egg and ham breakfast. The chicken was involved, but the pig was committed. Wow. Jeez. I don't know who said it. Sad. <clears throat> Do we start talking about the chicken and the egg? <laughs> Do we go there? <laughs> Has it not been? Okay, I need a little bit of black core, which of course I don't have. Okay, that. thank you. Maybe? Oh, thank you. And then I'm just going to roll two tiny eyes. <clears throat> okay, this is one of my favorite jokes, but it's a little mean. Okay. Don't take it personally. Oh. Why did the chicken cross the road? Was it going to be like to get away from me? <laughs> <laughs> like, why? Why does it mean to me? <laughs> I don't know. Why. To get to the idiot's house. Oh. Knock, knock. Wait, wait. Knock, it. knock. <laughs> <laughs> Who's there? The chicken. <laughs> it's now a good I, one, right? No, I get it. It is a good one. Oh, little chick. Oh, <laughs> little chick, your little eyes are... She's funny. I don't know. Why is she? Her eyes are really big. She ended up bigger. Yeah. How did that happen? <laughs> I feel like I'm painfully small. How do you make that one so small? How did I do that? I wasn't under pressure <laughs> to perform. That's what it was. And I could lean my head in. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, these eyes are a little large. It's okay. She's my anime chick. <laughs> All right, good luck. <laughs> <clears throat> Do you put the little white dot in on these guys? No, because their eyes shouldn't even be this big. 